I think that's what makes a good entrepreneur is someone that all those things, like a lot of the things that you've said, most people will class some of them as failures, like starting the business account, uh, starting the account on Instagram about fitness. Oh, I failed at that. Oh, we lost a client. We failed that client. And it's like, you're not even seeing it that way. And that's what I think makes a good entrepreneur. You're seeing it in a way that's like, okay, something's happened. Like you're not looking at good or bad. You're just like, something's happened and it's maybe detrimental to the business, but that's actually turned it around. And then interestingly, um, and, and also um, sort of uh, God bless your granddad uh, that passed, like you said, him passing encouraged you on this journey. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and do you know what I mean? Like from, from my spiritual point of view, like all these things that have happened that are seen as externally bad, like they've brought you to this point. Like those lost clients have brought you the ability to become incredible of what you do. Um, the, the the person of your granddad has has lit a fire inside of you that has created a six figure business like that like that stuff that doesn't happen every day. Do you know what I mean like name name yeah. I can't name many people that run six figure businesses. Like I know I know a lot of people like after meeting them after it, but yeah. people that I personally have known from before I started this journey, I know no one that's ever started a six figure business. Um, like after I've met quite a few, but. Yeah, all, all that stuff has really stemmed from potentially your point of view on things. And that is is what I think is is makes a good entrepreneur. So yeah. let's let's speak about that. Your 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 point of view. Have you always had this point of view that like because winners have a point of view of, well, if I fail, I'll just try something else or I'll, I'll get it, I'll make sure it works. Have you always had that point of view with the things that you do? That's a good question. I've never really actually really thought about it like that. I'd probably say no. I think it just sort of come over time. Right. I think yeah. after, after a certain amount of failures, you're sort of forced to adapt the yeah. way you look at things. Otherwise, it'll be a pretty depressing life. If, you, know, <laughs> if you, you take to heart and really, you know, uh, stick to it. So, yeah, I think perspective is everything, right? Mm. And I think you will learn perspective over time, if that makes sense. Yes, definitely. Uh, so, like I said, like the first few clients that, dropped me or you know that I lost you know I really took the heart and yeah. I really you know like the I remember the very first official uh Facebook ads client I got was um I won't name the name of the business it actually doesn't even exist anymore that's uh you know probably expl- you know explains enough but um what he basically what he wanted was was uh management of his socials including Twitter right and I wanted to offer Facebook ads Right. So I sort of tried to force, you know, Facebook ads down this person's throat. Right. And I promised I'll also manage the socials and I also do, you know, X amount. And I basically promised them the world just because I wanted the money. I wanted the clients in. Yes. I wanted to basically put on social media, just sign another client. Um, so a week goes by and he asks, okay, so what's the Twitter growth like? Uh, I put up a few tweets on Twitter, but other than that, I had like eight followers. And those eight were already, you know, there when I took over the account. Um, so, you know, two months went by and in the end, you know, he said, listen, this is not going to work out. Um, you've, you've, you've run a page like campaign on Facebook and you've posted a few times on my Twitter, but other than that, you haven't really done much. Um, and like I said, when, when he, when he left, I really took this to heart and I was also thinking like, does this business model even work? Yeah. Um, yeah. Have I just been scammed into thinking, you know, working from my laptop as possible and stuff like that. <laughs> um, and now, like I said, you know, when a client leaves now, it's it's, it's just okay. What what could could we have done better? Right. What do we need to change in our systems and processes to make sure that that either doesn't happen again, or you know that if it does happen, that we you know, we don't actually lose the client as a result. Yes. Of yes. So Love I think that. being like flexible and adaptive will will come over mm. time, um, and you sort of learn through your failure. Yeah. But 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 like like you said as well at the start, you did take that to heart. So someone who's just if, if you're listening to this and you've just started a business or whatever it is like of course you're going to take it to heart like like we we look at we look at people that are on step 100 you know what i mean 